All right, let me, let me come to Lagos and take a retired assistant inspector general of police. Uh, Mr. Corkrick, uh, you've heard Mr. Adishino. Two key things have come out from what he said, that the problem that was on ground when they came has been largely contained. But other problems have since sprouted. Then secondly, the issue of small arms, which is directly related to all these other problems that have since sprouted. Are you satisfied with what has happened? Well, um, I certainly, I'm, I'm certainly not satisfied that um, we still have uh, large catches of arms in the hands of uh, the wrong people. But nevertheless, I cannot less agree with uh, Mr. Femadishino that a lot has actually been done with regards to ensuring that uh, some of these uh, arms are recovered. And like you said, I mean, you gave the statistics uh, of uh, the recovered arms. And I want to also say that uh, the government is actually doing, I mean, much more to ensure that um, these um, arms are mopped up, I mean, significantly. But then there, there, uh, if we talk about what has been recovered, even those who are doing the recovery always say that what they've recovered is a very small fraction of what is going through. And we see evidence of that from those who come back and give eyewitness reports or uh, talk about their encounter with some of these people, either in terms of banditry or in terms of, I mean, even officers of the police tend to take a back seat. They retreat when they see the kind of firearms these people have. It's, it's in that context that I'm asking, is enough being done? Because if this quality and caliber of arms are in the wrong hands, then if you squeeze here, then they will simply move elsewhere, which seems to have been what has happened with even the insurgency. Yes, I, I want to sincerely believe that um, there's still need for a more holistic approach, really. What do you mean? We're talking about um, a better approach particularly with regards to application of technology. I mean, we're talking about our borders, we're talking about... Uh, about so we've been talking restricted... about our borders for decades. Yeah. And without, whenever we talk about security, they go, oh, our borders are porous, as though there's nothing we can do about them. Um, well, um, obviously, there, there, there's much we can do about that. But the truth is this, that uh, we've got to actually, I mean, apply technology to ensure that we police our borders effectively. I mean... In terms of uh, borders that are sp spread wide all over, I mean, I don't think um, we have enough uh, human resources to cover them effectively. But technology can really help, where we can actually deploy technology to know movements and be able to send forces directly to where some of these arms are being brought in. 